Science Central. Well-preserved fossils like the one of this ancient bird can tell a lot, but they have not been able to tell us what we notice and love about birds, their true colors. For centuries, people have been doing paintings or drawings, renderings of fossil organisms, trying to understand what, what they may have looked like. Most of those have been entirely fantasy. Now evolutionary ornithologist Richard Prum and grad student Jakob Winter have the first evidence that fossils preserve color clues. Winter first noticed pigment molecules in a squid fossil. Squids, they have this organ, this ink sac, which they use to squirt ink out to deter predators. And this ink is composed of a pigment called melanin. I thought it was quite spectacular that you could actually recognize melanin in, uh, in a fossil that is uh, 150 million years old. The team used an electron microscope to look for melanin in bird feather fossils. As they wrote in the journal Biology Letters, they showed the structures match black and white patterns of modern feathers. It allows us, for the first time, to reconstruct some aspects of the color of feathers. The search is now on for other fossil pigments that may indicate color. This could tell us more about dinosaurs, because many dinosaurs were in fact feathered. These are, include many of our most uh, uh, well-loved dinosaurs, like Velociraptor. The dinosaur that chased the kids around the kitchen in Jurassic Park was actually fully plumaged. Changing some of our imaginings about extinct creatures to reality. I'm Brad Closer.